You have your whole life to make your first record. What I learned on our fifth was you have the rest of your life to do it again. Each album is based off a temperature, a circumstance. This circumstance for this album, unfortunately, was death. Paul was a great songwriter. He was the type of guy that he wouldn't just write an arrangement and and stick with it the way he first put it down. And I found when I was writing music in my garage by myself, I was exploring every part of the fretboard, different positions. You know, how does it sound if I bar it? How does it sound if I move it up higher on the, you know, on the fretboard, lower on the strings, things like that. And I realized that's how Paul used to write. And I would lose patience, but Paul would just be in it, working through it, working through it, working through it. And I'm not a very spiritual person, and I always kind of scoff at people when they, you know, they, oh, they're just telling you that your loved one's with you to make you feel better and, you know, all that stuff. But I, I it kind of hit me like a ton of bricks. I kind of really felt like he was there helping me through the process. And, you know, that may sound however it sounds, but, uh, you know, he's still teaching me stuff even though he's not with us anymore. You know, the great thing about this album is it really is the story of the last four years. There's a lot of... A lot of pain, a lot of guilt, a lot of uh, reflection, a lot of uh, memory, a lot of remembrance. There's a, there's a lot of good stuff on this. There's a lot of accusatory anger, um, whether it's pointed outward or pointed inward. One of the things that we had to try to learn to do as a band was first we had to see if we could play as a band without Paul. And we proved to ourselves that we could do that and we can feel good about it. And at the end of it, I feel good. I feel good for him. I feel good for me. I feel good for the lost ones. I feel good for the other brothers. This is a special fucking record. And I tell people every day, if this was the last one that I get to do, for whatever reason, because life is unpredictable, I'd be just fine. I'd be out of here. This is a great, great place to be in life. We're at an age right now where we've inspired a whole generation of, of heavy metal, hard rock bands. You know, they grew up listening to us, and that makes me feel wonderful because they're passing on what we passed on to them. And I think it's more back to the sort of the roots of what we started out at as, as a band yet we were able to challenge ourselves a little bit musically and experimentally and some of the other guys in the band that never really had much of a voice were able to sort of get a little bit more of their ideas and things in there you know i do know that i'm probably the best guitar sound i've ever got committed to tape so i'm stoked on this record i, I think the sounds are great i think it's very organic we are just slipknot there's really no one word that sums up this band except that one word, Slipknot. If you don't like that,